Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining us again. My name is Renata from Minerva and in today's video I'm going to share with you how making a few modifications, a few pattern hacks can create beautiful and distinctive pieces for your wardrobe. But before we move forward, I want to encourage you to head over to Minerva and Sewing Community. You're going to find wonderful makers as well as Minerva's brand ambassadors like myself. Once over there, you can do searches via hashtag. You can like the products. You can save them once you create an account. And if you do create a, an account, you will be receiving a discount in your inbox. Now let's take a look at the pattern that I've used to create three beautiful and distinctive looks. For my project I decided to go with Tilly and the Button Billy Jumper or a sweater for those of you that live in the US. This is a comfortable a crew neck style sweater with a balloon sleeve and straight sleeve. It comes in a sweater style as well as a dress. Billy is such a comfortable design. It's cozy and relaxing, but I wanted to add a little edge to it. So I made a few tweaks. I'm sharing with you one of three of the modifications that I did on this amazing pattern. For this first look, I use the Pontaroma double knit fabric. This is the black and ivory. I'm calling this one like an elevated basic top. It's for an everyday look. As you can see, it is a simple top, but it has a little extra going on with the ruffles. So the pattern doesn't come with a ruffle on the shoulders. What I did was I searched through some of my patterns to see if anything could work with this to make adjustments. Now, I decided to go with my Nina Lee Park Lane pattern. There is a ruffle in that pattern, and all I did was follow that instruction on where to place their ruffle onto my blouse. That is it. That's the simple modification that I did. You can definitely find that Nina Lee pattern on our website. I will leave a link to that as well for you guys. So let me bring the pattern in and show you guys how beautiful it is. I think it turned out amazing. I love, love the feel of it. This fabric is very pretty. It's a typical striped fabric, but the, the weight and the feel of this is so beautiful. It just has that ready to wear feel and it looks amazing. Now, another thing that works really well when attaching ruffles to sleeves I decided that you can also add a little lace on the other side. That way it conceals the wrong side of the fabric. So in the event that you're walking around town or wherever you are and that ruffle sort of flies upwards, you don't see that wrong side of the fabric. You see a beautiful lace piece. So that is a tip I thought I would share with you all. Now let's take a look at the second project. This second project was made using stretch of velvet knit fabric. This is a brown animal print plus the metallic lace fabric in gold. I'm calling this style an elevated casual day to evening look. At first glance, this just looks like a luxurious a billy sweater dress, but then you turn around and you notice this amazing 
jaw-dropping wonder of sultriness. It is beautiful. I love what was done with this bath. You cannot tell that anything was altered or modified when you're looking at it from the front, but the back is just beautiful. And I kind of wanted to have sort of a vent. Now this fabric is scalloped on the end. So I was thinking of ways to incorporate that with this beautiful velvet fabric. And I didn't feel the need to do anything on the front just because it's a knit fabric and the lace does not have any stretch. So I didn't want to do any manipulation in the front and cause any sort of problems when I cut lines for this project. So I did all the adjustment modifications in the back and I'm going to show you guys what I did. I'm going to talk you through how I worked with the flat pattern to create this beautiful look. Here is the pattern redrafted to show the new seams. The yoke was cut on a fold using the main fabric so we wouldn't compromise the integrity of the stretch around the neck and armhole. Our lace insert has no stretch and we want to ensure getting in and out of this dress is easy. Remember to add seam allowances to all new seams created. Once your pattern pieces are laid on the fabric, don't forget to add the new seam allowances. If seam allowances are not included, your final project will be too small. To complete this look, all that I would do is probably wear um, a crossbody black bag that has some gold straps. That would be a nice contrast to everything that's going on there with the black, the gold, and that lace, and that metallic fabric. It is so beautiful. I think it turned out amazing. I love this look. It's super comfortable, and you can't tell from this photo that it's a billy. It just looks different. It's just beautiful. It's fantastic. It just gives off a different feel. You know, when I when I put this on, I feel like I'm I'm ready and I'm excited to enjoy an evening, to go out, to hang out with friends, go get some cocktails, and just relax. It's just such a fun fabric. It's a fun look, and it was just a joy to make. Pattern hacking is kind of scary, but once you start it, it's going to be very easy. Now let's take a look at the third and the final project. The third project was made using Lorex sweater knit fabric in brown, plus the same lace fabric that was shown previously. I'm calling this look the elevated afternoon top. It's a showstopper. Let's just say that this is it. At first, I thought the dress would be the knockout, but I am telling you, this top takes the cake. It was so amazing putting this together. When I saw the fabric, my mind started to turn and I started to think, you know, how do I want to combine these two pieces of fabric to create an awesome show-stopping top because that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want it to look anything like the billy. Not that the billy isn't nice, but I wanted to make it my own. And that sleeve just, it just did it. It's such a fabulous, fabulous make. This one didn't take long. Overall, sewing up the billy doesn't take long at all. And then making these few tweaks just seal the deal on it, man. This is awesome. Are you guys feeling this thing? It's so beautiful. I love how I have attached this sleeve. And I really, really wanted to, to get that separation from the underarm away from the top. I wanted all the volume on the lace, 
up above. So that's what I did. Let me take a moment now and I'm gonna talk you through what was done. After that, I'm gonna share with you a short lookbook of the three pieces that we discussed today. Here is the copy of my balloon sleeve. I marked the center of the sleeve hem, then placed a two and a half inch mark on either side. Next, I marked the five eight inch spot under the front and back notches of the sleeves. These mark will connect to create your new pattern pieces. Don't forget when cutting your new pattern to add seam allowances. I recommend 3-8 seam allowance. However, use the seam allowance that's most comfortable to you. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something new, and that you're excited to join our amazing sewing community. Head on over there, create an account, get your discount and start sewing. Thank you again and I look forward to seeing you all in another upload. Goodbye.